viewers to uh, the first episode of 16 episodes that are going to be focused on the November 2022 science paper 2. So uh, we just finished uh, looking at the November 2022 science paper 1 which is uh, physics. If you haven't seen that episode please check out on our YouTube channel. Remember we want you to ace your G12 exams. If you can ace your G12 exams you have a bright uh, future. So let us move straight to a uh, question 1 of the multiple choice section where you're expected to answer 20 questions and each question carries one mark. A1. Which of the following best describes why a factory manufacturing pesticide should be located far away from human settlement? Pesticides A. Are poisonous B. Contaminate the environment C. Destroy buildings D. May kill animals So we need to look at the question carefully. So the question is asking us uh, to choose from these uh, four options which one best gives the reason why factory manufacturing pesticides should be located far away from human settlement. So one best, number two, we are looking for the reason why this should be located far away from human settlement. So our reference point is human settlement. So we have A, they are poisonous, of course, B, contaminate the environment, C, destroy buildings, D, may kill animals. If they may kill animals, basically they are poisonous. So A, and D, D, they mean the same thing. So there's no way one of them will be correct. So we eliminate those two. So we are looking for uh, now the best answer between B and C. Destroy buildings, contaminate the environment. So the reason why they should be located far away from human settlement is because they may contaminate the environment. If they may contaminate the environment, they can kill animals because they are poisonous. So you notice that B is the correcting answer. Then, A2, which of the following is not a basic unit of matter? So, we are looking for the th three basic units of matter that you need to know. So, the three basic units of matter are atom, molecule, and an ion. These are the three basic units of matter. So, you need to know what is an atom. So, an atom basically is the smallest particle of an element which can take part in a chemical reaction and remain unchanged. Key remains unchanged. You need to take note of that. Then what is a, a molecule? So a molecule is a, the smallest particle just like an atom of an element or compound which exists independently. So what is key there is a molecule exist independently. An atom will take part in a chemical reaction but remain unchanged. Then of course we have an ion which is basically an atom carrying a positive or negative charge due to the loss or gain of electrons. Remember nonmetals gains electrons to have the complete outer shell. Then metals they donate electrons. So, those are elements that have either gained or donated electrons are what are known as ions. So, the one which is not part of the basic unit of matters is an electron. Then, question A3, which of the following shows the best order of obtaining salt from a mixture of sand and salt? So, we are looking for getting salt. Now, salt that we want to get is a soluble substance. Then sand is insoluble. So now we have two substances with different solubility. So the first step is it to dissolve these either in water or anything so that they make a solution. The best is water. So you notice that here the first step is dissolving, which is collect. Then the next step is separating the insoluble sand from the liquid then afterward you need to evaporate the soluble liquid that you get and get uh, the solid salt so if you look at these options you notice that crystallization is not collect out so d out then decantation at the end 
out. Then we remain with A and D C. So we have filtering and the decantation. So why choose filtering or decantation? So you need to choose one because this can be confusing for someone. So when you are dealing with a decantation, we are basically looking at the process by which the top layer of liquid, so we have the top layer of liquid, can be separated by pouring out after the solids have settled. Or we have two liquids that are immiscible. They are not miscible. They cannot be mixed. One is on top, then the other one is it down. In that case, we pour out the one which is on top, then the main with the one at the, the bottom. That's the best case for decantation. Then, when you're dealing with it, one soluble and one insoluble, the best method that you can use is the filtering. So what you do is you have this funnel, then you are going to have a filter here, then you do like that. When you pour here, this sand will remain here. Then the, all the solution will enter here, especially that the sands have got a big space. All the salt solution will go down here. Once it goes down there, then you, you can evaporate. So when you use decantation in this case, what you notice is you have to be extra careful when pouring. Otherwise, the sand will fall in the solution or part of the solution will not be poured fully to distinguish between him, sand and the solution. But because we want to get all the sort, hence we are looking for the best order. So filtering would be the best option here. When you are dealing with two liquids that cannot be filtered, but they have different layers, they are immiscible. You, you go for decantation because you cannot filter them. So this is how you separate these two methods. Question F4, the best method of separating iron fillings from copper powder is, so we are looking for the best method. Then we have iron fillings and copper powder. So we want to get iron fillings from copper powder. What are the distinguishing property of these two substances? You notice that iron fillings are from a magnetic material. Remember, we have three magnetic material being iron itself. Then we have uh, cobalt. Then we have um, nickel. These three are magnetic elements. Then we have copper itself, which is not a magnetic material. So this is the distinguishing uh, property of these two. So because these iron fittings are magnetic elements, so what you do is we can use a magnet which was going to attract all iron fittings to itself then leave copper powder. So when you look at the options we discover that D is the best answer which is magnetism because we can't and pick these and uh, copper and iron uh, or metals they cannot uh, float then these are we cannot filter them because we are going just to remain with a liquid. The copper powder will remain on the filter. Question F5. In which of the following are the greatest intermolecular forces? So we have all these elements are from group 7. Or they are origins. So... Among these, which one has the greatest intermolecular forces? So, the first property that you notice in, when you look at the, the periodic table, as you move down in this group, the melting point increases. So, because melting points are increasing, what this tells us is we need more energy to overcome the intermolecular forces. So, Froline were the least intermolecular forces. Then this one were the biggest. So among us the four, iodine were the greatest intermolecular force. So we go to the options to discover that D will be the correct answer. Just to take note, um, bromine exists as a liquid. Then chlorine is a gas because it's on top and gas also fluorine because remember fluorine the first one chlorine number two then bromine number three then number four iodine so iodine exists as a solid 
so you need to take note of these property so this is basically how you answer the first five questions so join me in the next episode as we look at question 6 going forward thank you viewers for watching this episode if you find this video to be helpful please consider liking and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.